here. Just kind of talk about uh, how excited you are for the upcoming season. Uh, coach had kind of said you just got back in the rhythm after being out for a couple weeks. How yep. are you feeling? I feel good. Um, I was out for a couple weeks, just kind of, um, you know, I was a little sore from a couple of the kind of uh, workouts and stuff like that. But no, I've been good. we got a good group of guys um, coming in as well as a good group um, that we have returning. So I'm looking forward to it um, and just hoping to really build off last year, not to be satisfied, and Coach men mentioned it, but never to be satisfied with what we did last year and we got a whole new year coming up. With the departure of Ethan, do you feel like you have some big shoes to fill both on the court and I guess in the locker room? Definitely, definitely. Ethan was, you know, I mentioned this before, but Ethan was one of the best leaders I've ever um, played for. So they, there's definitely big shoes, but it's expectations I think I'm ready for. How would you kind of sum up what the competition level in practice been so, has been like? Um, I think it's been very good. You know, day in and day out, you know, you got to compete, um, especially at the guard spot. We had a lot of guards this year, and, you know, having that many guards can only make you better, um, especially as returners with me and Gianni um, at the guard spot. It only makes you better. Today during practice, it seemed like Roman was very vocal, which I feel like is maybe a newer thing yeah. we've sat, seen, sad we've seen of him. Yeah. What did last season, I guess, prove to you guys about his game? I know he went to the NBA draft water, tested everything out. Yep. What, I guess, has changed so much about him in the offseason? Well, I, I think his work ethic. He stayed out here um, in Oregon for a while, uh, working with Coach Rupp. Uh, his work ethic is, has been great, and he's been a leader for us. And, you know, I call it, like, the perfect game he had against Tennessee. Um, so hopefully he builds off that. But, you know, he's, he is, we have big expectations for him this year. Jared, is the standard for this program NCAA tournament every year now? Yes, yes. I think coach, um, coach is trying to harp on that. You know, it's not, you know, I said it before, but never be satisfied. You know, we got a group of guys that's very, very capable of getting back to the NCAA tournament and making another deep run. So I think we can do it again. How much confidence does it give you, given that you've already been there and, and made it to the Elite Eight? Uh, it gives me a lot of confidence. And, and being in the NCAA tournament, making it to the Elite Eight um, during the COVID year, um, it would have been nice to have fans. But being able to hopefully experience that this next year in the NCAA tournament with all those fans and the crazy atmosphere is something that hopefully we're able to do this season. Just speaking of the fans, how fun is it going to be? Home opener, having Gill, you know, full. Oh, I can't wait. Capacity. I can't wait. Um, you know, the last year not having it, my freshman year, the one game that stands out, obviously the Oregon game, but Iowa State when they were in here and how crazy it was. Now I'm really hoping, you know, as Oregon State students, fans, we're able to fill it um, night in and night out, just like the Iowa State game every single night and make it a tough place to play and for us to win night in and night out in Gil Coliseum. Last year you guys kind of took on that not 12 mantra. Yep. Have you gotten a chance to look at the polls? Is it from the back view mirror? Do you guys care? I mean... No, I mean, we, we definitely, you know, it's hard to say you don't look at it because you do. Um, you see it all over the place. Um, the coaches poll this, this past year um, tied for fourth. And then, um, you know, a lot of these other polls don't even have us make an NCAA tournament. Um, so it's fuel for us. And uh, we're looking forward to hopefully getting, getting back there again this year. You recently tweeted out the, the ring yeah. that you just got. Yeah. How was that feeling, though? Um, it's an incredible feeling uh, for myself. Uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to win um, any championships, or I won a couple league championships, or win anything in high school. But having a ring and, and winning the Pac-12 championship is one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life, uh, getting that ring and knowing that I did it for a place that I really care about in Oregon State. Jared, can you talk a little bit about your name, image, and likeness? Though? Yeah, um, for myself, I did two youth basketball camps back home. Um, first and foremost, just to get back to my community um, in Hacienda Heights, so that really meant a lot. Um, and then I've just kind of, oh well, I've done a little few things like with my apartment complex um, that I stay at, so I've been fortunate enough to have that. So I'm, I'm glad NIL's been a benefit for a lot, of, a lot of us athletes. Just from like walking around campus or just living in the state in general, do you get a sense of the perception around this program has, has changed since the Elite Eight run? Definitely, definitely. I think um, the first couple weeks I was out here, I told my parents, um, you know, I really couldn't go to too many places without being noticed, uh, which, which is an amazing feeling, you know, kind of different from my freshman year. Um, everywhere I went, you know, somebody noticing or congratulating me, which, which was a great feeling. Um, but, you know, I just can't be satisfied. And, but I'm also very, very grateful for everything that's happened. You were awarded the second team uh, Pac-12. Yep. Uh, what kind of attributes of your game do you think led up to that? Um, I think I think definitely my shooting ability um, is probably the main thing that's kind of led me to that. But, um, you know, i got to be able to build and, and work on the defensive end. I um, really improved upon that this past year, and I'm hoping to do the same this year, um, build on defensive end and then be really be a leader, take over some of the shoes that Ethan left behind.